What's good YouTube? It's your boy EJ right here with a pretty interesting video. If you can't tell by my title, if you can't tell by my thumbnail, if you can't literally tell by my demeanor in this video, we have something going on on the internet as a whole. In the past three weeks, we've had like three or four different traumas when it comes to like people doing things with underage people. From Dr. Disrespect to Cody Co to now Chris Tyson. We had the EDP junk that's been happening on and off for years. I will go as far to call a lot of these people rich or borderline rich or high class, wherever you want to describe them. These people have some of the most open variety of women that they can get whenever they want to and they still choose to go after people that are significantly younger than them. Just had to get that off my chest. Why haven't I made a video about all these situations? Because I don't like making videos like this. You know, it gets to be repetitive. I don't really understand the things I'm saying today about Chris Tyson also applies to those people as well. Those people that was giving all those other creators hate for what they did, this person and Chris Tyson also deserve said hate. Now that I got that off my chest, oh yeah, and by the way, hit the subscribe button. Give me the 2,000 subscribers, why not? I'm posting bangers. This is the first time in my channel history where I made a video on somebody twice. This is a follow-up video. One of my first ever commentary videos was on Chris Tyson. This video that I made in the past about Chris Tyson was about his about him becoming a transgender woman. People dug up his past and he said a lot of transphobic things about people that did the same thing as him years prior. This video <laughs> that, we about to, that we about to go through right now together, people also dug up things about their past and it's pretty damning the things I'm about to show you. Now, now that I got that out the way, I just want to say that a lot of these things that's coming out today in this video and all these people make, are making videos on Chris Tyson, it's all because of this guy, Prism42, has been digging up things and doing research on Chris Tyson, and he found some pretty, some pretty damning proof that the man is a like it's not even a question anymore not only was he talking to a 13 year old when he was 20 he waited for said 13 year old to become 16 to link up with him and do some things this man is literally in the cp if you don't know what cp stands for child you fill in the rest of the blanks now we're gonna dive straight deep into this i'm not gonna yap y'all ears off anymore we're gonna get into all the proof that there is today about the chris tyson situation so to start this off i need y'all to understand when we say we have proof that he's in the cp there is something called lolly if you don't know what lolly is it's basically when you take underage characters and you're making them do sexual things that's basically what lolly is and this man chris not only admitted to being into it he literally has some of it on his wall you have mr beast right here you have tyson right you have you have Tyson right here. Not sure who this dude is. I'm not sure who this dude is, and it doesn't really matter. What matters here is that you have the biggest YouTuber on the planet right now in a room with this picture right here. Now, I have to blank out this picture for obvious things, but this picture is of somebody that's like the age of 13. She has a Glock in her mouth with drool from her tongue hanging off said Glock while also wearing a shirt that says predominantly sexual things. Now, this woman, this girl is a kid and this isn't the only one this is just the most damning proof of it at this moment if you go to chris tyson's page he's deleted every single tweet but it didn't stop the internet community from doing what they do best they went back and screenshotted everything you know your boy egf had to get those screenshots for you so now as you see on the screen the the creator that makes all of these things that chris was under is somebody named shad base I'm not gonna go on this page. If you go on this page, he's still doing it. He's still a sick creator. But the the fact that somebody that was so interlinked with one of the biggest YouTube creators decided to take interest in it, you knew people was gonna screenshot it. You knew people was gonna dig things up. The scary part about this is, this man deleted all of his posts a month ago. People have been holding on to these screenshots. Now in this screenshot right here, it says, no beast boy trap, Shad, you've changed. Now in that, in this tweet right here, it, it's heavily implying, and it, he's literally talking to Shad about why there is no character, 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 there's no, there's no scenes of Beast Boy doing sus things. Why would somebody want something as innocent as this to do something sexual? I don't know. This is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to proof. Cause there was, li there's literally going around. This right here, I'm not sure if I'm gonna have to blur it out or anything, but let's just say this, this picture right here, it implies that Caillou is getting more. If you, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have these words blurred out, so I'm gonna need you to read my lips. This picture right here implies that Caillou is getting. M but did that stop our good old boy Chris from um commenting under it? No. Under he he types help. I need an adult. Now while you're looking at these things, I don't know. Why you're associating yourself to these things, I don't know. Why you choose when you are already an adult to make some type of satire post, to even relate to something like this, I don't know. But I'm gonna say this again, it's really just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the things that we're gonna be talking about today. I'm not sure what would make somebody with the status of Chris choose to do things like this, but the fact that he, he literally went out of his way to do it is my issue with this. Regardless if it was 2018 
or 2014, you was an adult and you knew what you were doing. You were openly into these things. And now that it's come to light that you were talking to a 13 year old, this is, it's significant. This isn't no jokes or games anymore. Shit is getting real. The man's deleted everything. Mr. Beast has not spoke up about any of this yet. And we're gonna touch on Mr. Mr. Beast extremely soon when it comes to this situation. But here it is right here, another example of Chris doing what Chris has been doing. Talking about an underage character, sure, who in this is the little girl from The Incredibles who is a kid calling her cute. It's just little unnecessary things like that that you feel so confident when it comes to opening up to the public. We literally have screenshots of this man begging for him to make little girl caricatures into sexual things. Like, look at this, please, Shad, please. We got to be better than this, man. If you got people around you that's doing this thing, you don't even have to be famous. I don't even know why Mr. Beast didn't put any of this in check. Maybe back then he just wasn't that big. It's not my, I don't know exactly when he blew up, but I'm pretty sure by 2019, Mr. Beast had some type of clout. But regardless of that, whether somebody's big or not, you have to have these conversations with people at home because this is just flat out unacceptable. What we're going through right now is just flat out unacceptable. And the, and the most daring of all situations is this right here. This is, this is Chris tweeting Shad Bay saying, Pete, my favorite snack in the spaghetti. This may seem like a little insider, inside joke, funny type of tweet, right? That's until you find the context. Now the context of what he was talking about was this. So what you have right here is a family of a mom, a son, and a daughter, right? And the son does not want the spaghetti because it has a Tide Pod in it. And it's saying that, it's, that it tastes like now the follow-up thing to this, which is again, the most damning part of all of this, I'm gonna just end this whole lolly gag right here because there's no need to even go any deeper after this. The next the next slide of this lolly thing, the next slide of this dirty adult cartoon is literally the son getting on both his knees and proceeding to do something to his own mother. So that's where I'm gonna just end this. I think it's pretty sick. I think that's the most, I don't need any more proof when it comes to like talking about CP or what somebody is or what they're not. But I just wanna take a second to shine light on Mr. Beast. April 23rd, this was literally last year when the whole everyone exposing Chris Tyson thing coming out because he's transgender and he has a lot of transphobic tweets in his past. Mr. Beast came to his defense and literally said this. Yeah, this is getting absurd. Chris isn't my nightmare. He's my effing friend and things are fine. All this transphobia is starting to piss me off. Today, we have now three. I'm not gonna put all three up here because I don't wanna air them out any far any further than they already are aired out. We have three former Mr. Beast employees coming out saying things like, Jake, Jake the Viking. We had a literal video from somebody that used to work for Mr. Beast, showed the NDA that he signed, saying that there's a lot more to this situation that nobody will ever know. You have people speculating online that the only reason why he's still connected to Mr. Beast is because there's certain things that Mr. Beast can't afford to get out. But I just wanna say that this situation has the potential to get even messier, or it'll just go under the rug because we're talking about the biggest YouTuber on the planet. We're talking about one of the biggest people on this planet right now when it comes to influence and Mr. Beast. So this is gonna go either one of two ways. To touch on the allegations of him talking to a 13 year old, this tweet right here from somebody named the Ebony Mouse. Right here, Chris Tyson from Mr. Beast has been messing around with a male minor starting when the minor was 13 and Tyson was 20. The two, con the two constantly joked inappropriately with each other about hentai addiction, sending suggestive, suggestive pics, etc. They were confirmed to have met up together when the minor was only 16. Now, why did he wait till he was 16? Because the age of consent in most states in this country is 16 or 17. It's either one or the other. So technically, if he did do something with him or something did come out, would he be canceled on the internet? Yes. Would he be embarrassing his family that's already been embarrassed by his past acts? Yes. Would he be technically a Maybe not legally. But morally, yes. Okay, we're on the same page. Now we're we're to the big we're to the big bang. We're to the main event. Like I said before, Prism Forty Two is the one that dove deep and got all the receipts for this. So if anybody deserved credit for exposing him or whatever, it's probably Prism Forty Two. Here's the minute and a half clip that's going viral, literally everywhere from Prism Forty Two's video. One of the most important things about what's going on with this situation, this minute and thirty two is probably the best minute and thirty two of all the videos that he's made. Cause to be honest with you, the guy rambles quite a bit if you actually try to watch him. And this screenshot is Chris Tyson talking one on one with him. And at this point, he would have been sixteen. And here we go. Here is the picture of them meeting up together. I'm gonna censor his face. And as you can see right there, they're there's Carl right there. There's Chris Tyson right there. Chris Tyson was talking to this guy since he was 13. 
So right there was just proof that the dude actually linked with Chris Tyson in real life. Tyson was in college, and of course, the moment he was able to drive, he takes a camper van out in the middle of the woods, which by the way, very secluded area. Let me talk about that. Any time that someone is taking a camper van somewhere, bringing it out in the desert or the middle of the woods, it, it's very unnecessary because there's RV parks, there's the Walmart parking lot, there's plenty of areas you can go instead of going to a place that's very unfamiliar to you to camp out there, especially in a secluded area. So the real question is, if he was talking to Chris Tyson, who is interested in both men and women, since he was 13 years old and Chris Tyson was in college, why did he take a camper van out to see him and take it out in the middle of the woods in this secluded area and then he met up with him like two days later. So yeah, the man has proof in all them pictures that he's, that he's holding down. If you're more interested in seeing all the documents and all the proof, like I said, I showed y'all this channel multiple times. I'm not gonna dig into it personally. I'm not gonna dig into it to the point where I'm putting all the proof on, on the screen. But for the most part, yeah, the man had proof of all of those things, whether it was the photography of the man getting the little boy or just everything that's going on within the situation. The point is that the man, that Chris Tyson waited until the dude was 16, got him on a camper van and went into the middle of a nowhere and did who knows what. He led to Lava coming out himself saying these videos are massive lies and twisting the truth. Ava never did nothing wrong, just made a few edgy jokes. I was never exploited or taken advantage of. So I just wanna attack that first paragraph at first. You know, when you say those things, when you are the minor, it's never taken seriously because most of the time minors don't know when they're being exploited or taken or taken advantage of. But I don't know a time where it's ever okay to say edgy jokes to a minor. You do me a favor and comment on these videos and tell them to stop spreading lies. This situation takes away from the children who are actively being exploited every day online. I am not a victim of anything being claimed in these videos or at all. Now I'm gonna say this again. Most people when they're being taken advantage of or exploited, they don't know. So what he's saying isn't going to be taken serious, and I don't even take it serious. That is literally everything that's going on with the Chris Tyson drama. If you haven't seen anything on it, I actually appreciate you for stopping by and watching my video on it. But that's it. I love you guys just as much as I love myself. Mr. Beast, I'm going to just say this. I probably cut ties, me personally. But yeah, that's it. I'm out.